my point is is that I'm in a soccer mom SUV that you can't actually upgrade. I also can't even see over this thing. I literally can't see in front of me. <laughs> I believe it's my life. I'm having to hold the camera to the side, that way I can see every now and then for when a turn is coming up. Oh yeah, does the uh, Xbox 360 Minecraft have anything new on it? Because ours has like wings where you can fly now. Stuff like that. Yeah. We have a whole different type of potions and all that stuff. Uh, we got like lava lamps or whatever, neon lights. So you want to go ahead and back out of this race because this race is, we're already almost three minutes in and we're not even that far into this race. Yeah, but it's gonna kill me on fucking minutes to have to edit. Okay, so something tells me we probably shouldn't do anything lower than B-Class on this race. This will probably be the final race that I record. I'm curious to see what this car can do. Yeah, but so far all these old cars can hit like past 200. And I'm pretty sure 200 is faster than any B-Class on here. I think I may have just got done driving the fastest car in the game. Not the not the SUV, but the other. I'll be there in a minute. 
I'm already hitting 80 in first gear. Actually, I think this car I haven't upgraded yet, that's why it's still in B class. So far, 173 in climbing. get back on an actual straight road and not turns and not be able to climb anymore. Mm -hmm. never driven this car. Oh wow, not too shabby. That's yeah, not too bad actually. If I actually used brakes, I probably would have hit the wall a little bit. This car actually takes the turns pretty nice. It's a little frightening because like the entire car leans one way and you feel like you're just gonna roll over, but it actually takes it pretty well. They're about as spongy as uh, as an SUV's shots, but apparently that actually works on this race car. See, didn't even hit the wall, and all I did was let off the gas. So far I'm liking this car because I've only hit the guardrail a couple of times compared to any other car I would have been riding the guardrail, like I'm Tony Hawk or some shit. Audiences wait for little Calvin to crash. Like that.
Yeah, but this road's on asphalt. Yeah, that was dirt, and I actually caught up to you way more than I did on asphalt. Well, what, what happened there, Mr. I'm King of Alpha? <laughs> That's what I thought. Now, if you said I'm pretty good on asphalt, yeah, I'll give you that. Your car is pretty good on asphalt. Isn't it a Subaru, so shouldn't it be better on off-road? Ah, uh, excuses. I'm really liking this car. Yeah, it may not be very fast, but to be honest with you, I want to say this car is stock. So if I backed out and upgraded it just a smidge, it might actually be way better. Of course, I don't want to upgrade it too much, because whenever you upgrade old cars like this on this game, I remember that handling goes out the window after a certain point. It's like, yeah, you got a V12 engine in it, but you're going to twist your chassis with all of this. <laughs> Speaking of twist and chassis, uh, are you ever going to send me that sub with you? <laughs> oh, okay. So that'd be a no. Forget it. Fuck off. Gotcha. Nigga, you didn't have any excuses when you were working at Jets. You work at Jets, you you make pizzas, you come home, you play Xbox. <laughs> yeah, because you probably sent it to Jubilee Drive Japan or something. Also, I just, I, I kind of pulled a rip. I'm retarded because uh, I'm going to have to bleep that out now so that way people don't know where I live. I live in San Antonio, Texas. Well, we'll, we'll say that. <laughs> Here's the thing though, think about it for a second, this vehicle's stuck, and you're only beating me by so much. Basically you're only beating me because you have a little bit better acceleration. But this thing overall has a higher top speed and actually handles better than your car. And I want to say it probably has better brakes than your car too. Okay, you might have slightly better braking. You brake a smidge faster. But that's just a smidge. Plus, the only reason I'm bothering you for the subwoofer again is because I paid $200 for so much subwoofer, my truck probably wouldn't even be able to handle it. Or get a subwoofer that my truck can probably definitely handle for free. Because <laughs> literally the one that Dalton's wanting to sell is like... A, I don't even... I'm probably over exaggerating, but it's like a 2000 watt amp. Or like a 2000 watt subwoofer type of shit. It's the type of subwoofer where you crank it up to max and you won't have a windshield. <laughs> He said that whenever he used that subwoofer, because it is used, but whenever he used that subwoofer, if he cranked it up to half, his fucking rear view mirror fell off. It's the type of subwoofer that 10 car, like at a red light, 10 cars back, you're feeling it. You're feeling the bump. He said he's even pulled up to, like, McDonald's, and you know those big window uh, pane glass that they have? He's rattled that.
And I'm over here like, I just want a little bump. I don't want to wake up the neighborhood at 3 a.m. in the morning. I already do that with my mufflers. <laughs> Trust me, you don't know how funny it is just to like because i know just where to hold the gas in that truck now so that way it won't shift into its final gear so it just sits there and you're just deaf <laughs> from the engine and then i'll just give it that little bit of extra gas and it'll go and it's just silent and it's like really it goes from completely so loud that it's deafening to i'm a hybrid now <laughs> In a way, my truck is a sleeper, not for speed, but for sound. <laughs> yes. No, you didn't win all three. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you did. Honestly, I, I forgot for a minute there. I thought that I won the one with the red car.